Uh, so for the folks that are here, it was standing room only at the beginning of this, and for the folks that remain, you went through seven scientific studies, which is pretty impressive for you to sit through that. Um, and, you know, when I f introduced legislation in 2007, 2008, um, it always died in the Senate. Uh, I am now in the Senate. I feel pretty good about this, so I'm going to try again, uh, try again. next year. Um, In, in 2007, 2008, you know, when I would bring this issue up, people would say, well, there, there, you have no data. But since then, we now have data. We have a lot of studies that uh, have come out 2009, 2010, 2011, and I expect more to come out. And so now we are accumulating a body of evidence specific to Santa Monica Airport. And look, I, um, I like airplanes. I served active duty in the US Air Force. I support aviation. Uh, but it doesn't mean we treat all airports equally. Some of them clearly have uh, issues that are unique. Santa Monica is unique. It is the closest uh, to any residential houses of any neighborhood, uh, I'm sorry, of, of any airport uh, in the United States. And I believe the study showed that there is a problem here. And there are certain leverage points, right? In 2015, uh, I believe a lease comes up between the city of Santa Monica and the FAA. And while the FAA has a lot of control over this issue, uh, they are not omnipotent. Otherwise, they wouldn't need a lease. They could just do whatever they want. But clearly they can't. They have a lease. That lease is not a meaningless document. They actually have to negotiate with the city. That is a leverage point in 2015. Uh, I believe it's something all of you can look at using to uh, try to help this issue in Santa Monica Airport. Uh, when Marty showed that slide, I didn't quite realize we had part of Santa Monica Airport in the city of LA. That's sort of interesting. And um, my partner here, Bill Rosano, is amazing what he does, and maybe you can look into that uh, issue. And then we do have redistricting. That's changed lines uh, for both state and federal. Uh, and to the extent that that can be a leverage point in getting, getting more elected officials on board with this issue, that would be helpful. And so we do have things that we didn't have in 2006, 2007, 2008. So we've made uh, some advancements. And I do want to uh, look forward to continuing working with you on this issue. It is complicated, um, but I think we are continuing to move forward on it. And so thank you for being here. I have uh, Councilmember Bill Rosenau, who has been an amazing partner. And if he would like to make some closing comments, that'd be great. And, and, uh